Hello everyone. Welcome to ECJ Squatty channel. Vanakkam swagatam namaskar. Today we are going to discuss about IoT protocols. So the what are these IoT protocols? So protocols are nothing but a set of rules which is uh, followed by everyone. So layer to layer, we have different protocols used for communication. See, this is the application layer protocol, and this is transport layer protocols which are present and which are followed. And this is network layer uh, uh, protocols and link layer protocols. So in application layer, if you observe there, there is HTTP protocol, MQTT protocol, COAP, XMPP, DDS, WebSockets, AMQP, TC in transport layer, if you see, there are TCP protocol and UDP protocol. And in network layer, if you see IPv4 and IPv6, and we have also a, a six uh, low WPAN uh, protocol, which is uh, very useful for IoT applications, uh, which are user specified applications. Uh, so when we talk about link layer, there are, yes, we have Ethernet, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, LRWPAN, LR network that is 3G LT. So we know about this. See, Wi Fi we know, Wi Max we know, and Ethernet, yes, we will be using it frequently. So link layer protocols are this. So layer to layer, there are protocols present, and each protocol can be followed using a particular application if we are de uh, designing one application so what are the uh, which are the applications which is suitable to that uh, application like uh, these protocols are present now nah? so we can select it that is the art of iot so iot is a user specified design so we can uh, design it by using our own uh, if the application demands uh, one kind of user set of uh, see user set of uh, rules are there so protocols we can uh, we won't follow only one protocol we can follow what are the protocol maybe uh, we, according to our requirements if you take if our uh, uh, application is a uh, application which has a handheld device which operates using a battery power source then we can go with this communication protocol so we can go with this yeah, low power uh, wp w low power wpa and network we can go with this so according to the application which we are going to design and connect to iot we can select our own protocols okay our own means in the sense we can select the protocols uh, protocols are the same all over the world okay we'll see first in today's class we'll see about link layer protocols so what all the protocols present in link layer we'll see in today's class so link layer protocols so link layer protocols determine how data is physically so physically how the data uh, is physically sent over the network's physical layer or medium. So, though, so the scope of the link, see, uh, layer is the local network connection to which host is attached. So hosts on the same link exchange data packets over the link layer using link layer protocols. So link layer protocols are nothing but the data packets exchange. So, so from one network to another network, when the data is transmitted, see one network is there, this is N1, and here another network is there, N2. So this N1 wants to send a data packet to N2. So this data packet uh, will be tra uh, transmitted or will be sent to this N2 using this link layer. So the link layer present in this network will send the uh, data packet to this uh, network. And the net link layer, which is present here in N2, will receive the data from this uh, network and the data will be given to the network. So the link layer will act as a bridge between the two networks and it just uh, transfers the 
exchange the data packets. So link layer determines how the data packets are coded and signaled by the hardware device over the medium to which the host is attached. So let us see some of the exam uh, like protocols which are present in this. So the very first uh, example is Ethernet. Ethernet is termed as IEEE 802.3. So it is a collection of wired Ethernet standards for the link layer. So this Ethernet is a, a collection of wired Ethernet standards for the link layer. So for example, 802.3 is the standard for 10 base 5 Ethernet that uses coaxial cable as a shared medium. And 802.3i is the standard for 10 base T Ethernet over copper twisted pair connection. And 802.3j is the standard for 10 base F Ethernet over fiber optic connections. 802.3ae is the standard for 10 gigabits per second Ethernet over fiber and so on. So these standards provide data rates from 10 megabits to 40 gigabits per second and higher. The shared medium in Ethernet can be a coaxial cable, twisted pair wire or an optical fiber. The shared medium carries the communication for all the devices on the network. Thus, data sent by one device can be received by all devices subjected to propagation conditions and transceiver capabilities. Okay, this is all about Ethernet. Ethernet is, you just remember, Ethernet is a wired standard. So, so the wires, uh, when we say about wire, again, there are types of wires, no? Uh, one is coaxial cable, another one is co a copper twisted pair connection, another one is fiber optic is there. So Ethernet over fiber is there. So for each uh, wire types, they are giving one name. So uh, generally, A triple eight not two point. This implies the Ethernet. This is the standard Ethernet. So which uses coaxial cable and eight not two point I I uses copper twisted pair connection and 802.3J, J uses fiber optics and AE uses uh, Ethernet over fiber. So this st standard provides a data rate. So when we uh, talk about the wired Ethernet, like when we talk about link layer, so link layer, what it does, it just exchange the data packets. So exchange the data packets means the data rates will come. So that is the speed by how uh, that is transmitting or receiving the data. So for this, the data rate is for this protocol, the data rate is 10 megabits per second to 40 gigabits per second. So the next is Wi-Fi. So the very well-known and widely used protocol Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi standard is 802. Uh, IEEE 802.11. So it is a collection of wireless LAN. So we, Ethernet is a wired connection and Wi-Fi is a collection of wireless local area network communication standards, including extensive description of the link layer. So for example, 802.11a operates in the 5 gigahertz band and 802.11b and 802.11g operate in 2.4 gigahertz band. So this is a wireless. So wireless means we will be having bands and from that band, we will be getting our data. So 802.11b and 802.11 11G operate in the 2.4 gigahertz band and 802.11N operates in 2.4 or 5 gigahertz bands. So 802.11AC operates in the 5 gigahertz band and 802.11AD operates in the 60 gigahertz band. So these standards provide data rates from 1 megabits per second and up to 6.75 gigabits per second. So again, here also in Wi-Fi, there are different bands. So band to band, the name changes. So for 5 gigabits band, the name is 11A, 802.11A. Okay, 802.11A is 5 gigahertz band. And 802.11B 
and uh, uh, G, it has 2.4 gigahertz band. And this 2.0 gigahertz band is a widely used band for uh, handheld devices or battery powered devices. Okay, so the uh, standard provides, see the data rates of this Wi-Fi is one megabits per second to 6.75 gigabits per second. Okay, the next protocol is WiMAX. Actually, WiMAX is also widely used, but we don't know whether uh, that we use WiMAX. Okay, WiMAX uh, standard is IEEE 802.16. It is a collection of wireless broadband standards, including extensive description for the link layer. And it is also called as WiMAX. We already uh, seen that. WiMAX standard provides data rates from 1.5 megabits to 1 gigabits. So the recent uh, update that is 802.16m provide data rates of 100 megabits for mobile station and 1 gigabits for fixed stations. See, again, in WiMAX, there are uh, uh, like... Um, fixed uh, mobile like mobile stations and fixed stations see for example if a wimax is installed in one house or one uh, office then it is a fixed station and if it is installed in a truck in a moving vehicle truck then it is called as mobile stations okay the next protocol is 802.15.4, that is LRWPAN, which is uh, called as low rate wireless personal area network. Okay, this is a, 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 a IEEE 802.15.4 is a collection of standards for low rate wireless personal area networks. These standards form the basics of specification for high level communication protocols such as Zigbee. So this low rate uh, wire, uh, wireless personal area network standards provide data rates from 40 kilobits per second to 250 kilobits per second. So these standards provide low cost and low speed communication for power constraint devices. See, if you take Zigbee, it uses 2.4 gigahertz band. Okay, so this, this uh, uh, protocol, if we are going to use a application which which has a power constraint devices and which want a low cost and low speed then we'll go for this protocol okay and the next protocol and the last protocol in this link layer is 2g bar 3g bar 4g mobile communication which we use which everyone uh, has uh, one or two mobiles. So we will be using Geo, right? Geo will be showing LTE. So the, there are different generation of mobile communication standards, including 2G. Uh, like if you take 2G, including GSM and CDMA, it uses. And if you take three gen, uh, third generation, that is 3G, including UMTS and CDMA 2000. And if you take 4G, including LTE. So IoT devices based on these standards can communicate over cellular networks. So data rates for these standards range from 9.6 kilobits per second to up to 100 megabits per second and are available from 3GPP websites. Okay. So the, rate, the data rates uh, of this mobile communication is 9.6 kilobits per second to 100 megabits per second. So this 9.6 KB, this data rate is for 2G and this 100 megabits per second rate is for 4G. So with this, the link layer protocols are uh, over. In the next uh, video, we will see the uh, other layers protocol. Thank you.